Hello ladies and welcome back to my channel. My name is Isabella and today we're gonna do my August favorites. So in August I had a chance to try a couple of different products. I recently did a video with all the body and skincare products I recently included in my routine. So I'm gonna link that down below if you want to see it. Today it's gonna be all about makeup and a couple of random things like books and movies. And uh, yep, I hope you like it. Okay, so my top favorite for the month is this NYX Professional Makeup Brush. This is the Total Control Drop Foundation uh, brush and it's perfect to give high coverage uh, and to obtain that flawless Instagram look. Uh, I love the fact that it's super soft and smooth and uh, you can apply liquid uh, foundation, cream foundation, and uh, I don't know, I guess mousse foundation as well. I don't own one at the moment, but with liquid foundation, it works amazing. I'm telling you, it gives you a super high coverage. And uh, even though I would usually recommend this brush for an event makeup or, I don't know, somewhere where you want to have a flawless appearance, this is also good for everyday use because it depends on how much product you actually use. This doesn't give you a cakey effect. I had the chance to receive this brush at the beauty bloggers meeting back in June uh, and I've been using it ever since, so good job NYX. Next I have a product that's also pretty new and it's the Makeup Revolution Brow Pomade. This is in the shade Medium Brown. So I used to uh, have the Makeup Revolution Focus and Fix eyebrow kit uh, with um, a wax and three shades of powder to contour the eyebrows uh, and I wanted to try a brow pomade. I know everybody says that the Anastasia pomade is the best but I think it's a little too expensive for me at this moment so I chose this one. I paid less than 50 ron for it, so it was a pretty good price. I'm wearing it right now on my eyebrows and I really like the effect. You can uh, build the coverage, you can make it uh, more natural or uh, you can go for a full contour like I did today. And uh, yep, Makeup Revolution has some amazing products. Everything I tried so far uh, eyeshadow palettes and uh, brow products and all of that really really work and they're very cheap so if you have the chance to buy Makeup Revolution products I highly recommend them. Next, as you know I uh, like to use concealer a lot. Uh, this is one of my staple products in my makeup routine and recently I've been using the Catrice Liquid Camouflage uh, Concealer. This is a high coverage concealer uh, let me show you This is how it looks like mine is in the shade uh, Light I think yes light natural and uh, it's half Finished as you can see I like the packaging because you can see exactly how much product you still have left and uh, It actually has great coverage. It covers very well the dark under eye circles and it also covers the imperfections, the pimples, everything else you have on your face. I really like it. The only issue to say so is that it tends to crease if you use too much product. And I also bought recently the Camouflage Cream, uh, also from Catrice, and I love it. So, as I said about Makeup Revolution, you can also give it a try to the Catrice products because they actually are very cheap and they do a great job. Next, I have a product that everyone raved about in July and also a little in August. Uh, it's one of the new launches from Melchior, the matte stain. I also had the chance to, to try it because I was sent one, uh, one color and this has become my favorite. I'm sorry, I know everyone talks about it and I was not paid to talk about this one, but Hell yeah, it's so good. I mean, it has an amazing texture. Look at the applicator. It's small and precise and you can get the perfect coverage for your lips. Uh, it's in the shade Joy. The color is similar to my dress, as you can see. And it's very summerish. It's perfect for summer and for the hot season. And 
I know whenever you want to brighten up your day you can use this lipstick shade uh, it lasts very well during the day even if you eat or drink or whatever and uh, I also noticed that it has a very comfortable formula on the lip, so it's not as drying as other uh, liquid lipsticks. And speaking about bright colors, uh, this nail polish is one of my all-time favorites. I bought it last year and it's still as good as new, it still has the same texture. Uh, the shade is 405 Rose Libertine. Uh, and it's a gorgeous, as you can see, it's a gorgeous pink. Uh, again, very bright and summerish. This actually has a great brush, a great applicator uh, that you can use all over the nail. And uh, I really like it. I don't know, it's one of my favorite colors and also textures for uh, nail polish. And it lasts almost one week on my nails. So that's pretty good. Okay, so moving on to books. I didn't have that much time in August to read, but when I did, <laughs> I read this book from Elena Ferrante. Uh, this is the third volume from the Tetralogia Napolitana series, uh, which starts with uh, My Genius Friend, I think that's how you translate it. And let me tell you, this volume was the best out of all three. So this book is the follow-up of the story. Uh, the story is about two young girls and uh, they grow up in Napoli in the 50s or 60s, I'm not sure, uh, with all the mafia and the craziness that happened um, during that time. And um, the author talks us through these, um, these two best friends which grow up together they have a pretty complex friendship. They love each other, hate each other, depending on the mood and depending on what happens. Um, and you get attached to the characters. And this is exactly why I love these kind of books. You actually care about them. Uh, you want things to happen. You're surprised when something happens. I don't know, it's super easy to read. I mean, in two days I finished this novel and uh, I'm gonna buy the fourth one. The bottom line is that I highly recommend this series. If you love fiction, if you love uh, great written stories, I already talked about one book and I'm gonna tell you about one movie now that I absolutely loved in August. It's called Baby Driver and it's now in cinemas, so it's a new movie. And I gotta say, it's refreshing. It's something different than what we usually see in the cinemas today. The director is Edgar Wright. And uh, he also directed movies like uh, Hot Fuzz and... Uh, how was that called? Another movie with Simon Pegg. I'm gonna leave you the link below. I, I don't remember the name right now. But anyway, British movies, good comedies, so yeah, Baby Driver is a must-see. Uh, it's about a young boy who has to make it up for some mistakes he did in the past. Anyway, so he gets into all kinds of troubles. He's a very good driver, hence the name. And I like the movie because the soundtrack is perfect and it's a huge part of the story. You'll see. And last but not least, I'm going to show you one clothing item, which was my favorite in August and I wore it a lot. Uh, and again, this is not a new product, okay? This is not new in my wardrobe. I've been having this for two years or I think two years and I got it from an outlet and it's from H&M. It's this pretty, lovely, cute little top. I also wore this in one of my previous videos with the left hand challenge. Uh, I'll leave you the link down below if you haven't seen that one, because it's funny. And uh, it's a very floral top. It has an amazing uh, print. It has great details here. As you can see, you can also tie it underneath the, the boobs. <laughs> and it's from, the, it's from an old collection, the Garden Collection by H&M. I don't know what's that all about, but I found it in an outlet last year and I fell in love with it. So I'm gonna keep wearing it until I get bored and I'm not sure when will that happen. 
Okay, lovely. So that was about it. Thank you very much for watching until the end. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, let me know in the comment section below if you tried any of the products I mentioned, if you read the book, watched the movie, all of that, and what were your August favorites. Uh, meanwhile, I'm gonna leave you also the links to my social media because I try to post very often on Instagram, Facebook and all of that. So thank you for watching and I'll see you again next week. Bye!